एवरी वन दिस इज आर जी के वीडियो ऑफ क्लास नाइन एंड द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इन दिस टॉपिक टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम इंटरेस्टिंग फिनोमिनास विच टेक प्लेस इन आर यूनिवर्स सो द फर्स्ट थिंग विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज रेड जॉइंट्स एंड वाइट ड्वाफ्स रेड जॉइंट a red giant is formed when a star runs out of hydrogen fuel once all the hydrogen turns into helium there is no longer energy which keeps the star from collapsing but the star only collapses so far that the helium atoms can begin to combine into carbon atoms this process provides enough energy to stop the star from collapsing and actually pushes the outermost layers of the star out making the star much larger than its original size and this much larger star is now a red giant here in this diagram i have compared a red giant with our sun this is the size of our sun and this can be the size of a red giant as compared to our sun now we'll talk about white dwarfs a white dwarf is very dense its mass is comparable to that of sun while its volume is comparable to that of earth here i have shown you a white dwarf and this is our earth their volume are comparable but the white dwarf is so dense that its mass is comparable to the mass of sun white dwarfs are very hot when they are formed but they gradually cool as they radiate energy next we'll talk about supernova children supernova is a powerful and luminous stellar explosion supernova happens where there is a change in the core or center of a star the change can occur in two ways The first type of supernova happens in binary star systems. Children, binary stars are two stars that orbit the same point. Means two stars which are revolving around the same point. One of the stars, suppose it to be a white dwarf, steals matter from its companion star. Eventually, the white dwarf accumulates too much matter. Having too much matter causes the star to explode. resulting in a supernova and the second type of supernova occurs at the end of single star's lifetime as the star runs out of the nuclear fuel some of its mass flows into its core and eventually the core becomes so heavy that it cannot withstand its own gravitational force the core will collapse and this results in the giant explosion of supernova The next mystery of the universe is the diamond ring effect which is also known as Bailey's beads effect. The diamond ring effect occurs at the beginning and end of totality during a total solar eclipse. As the last bits of sunlight passes through the valleys on the moon's limb and the faint corona around the sun is just becoming visible it looks like a ring with glittering diamonds on it like this this kind of effect is known as diamond ring effect the next topic which we are going to discuss is la nina and el nino el nino events are associated with warming of the central and eastern tropical pacific while the la nina events are reverse these are associated with a sustained cooling of these same areas these changes in the pacific ocean and its overlying atmosphere occur in a cycle and this cycle is known as enzo the full form of enzo is el nino sudden oscillation the meaning of el nino is the little boy and the meaning of la nina is the little girl in southern united states during the fall through spring el nino usually causes increased rainfall and sometimes destructive flooding 
La Nina, however, usually causes drier weather in the south, but northwest tends to be colder and wetter than average. Next, we are going to discuss twinkling of stars. Stars are generally spherical in shape, but they appear twinkling like this. This twinkling is due to atmospheric refraction. Stars twinkle due to refraction of light. The light which is coming from star has to cover a very large distance. When light enters the atmosphere of earth, it suffers multiple refractions due to different densities of different layers of earth. Due to which the light follows a zigzag path and the star which is actually spherical in shape appears to be twinkling. Now we will discuss tsunami. Tsunami is a Japanese word. A tsunami is a series of waves in a water body caused by the displacement of a large volume of water. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and other underwater explosions etc. have a potential to generate a tsunami. During a tsunami, wave heights of tens of meters can be generated like this. Although the impact of tsunamis is limited to coastal areas, their destructive power can be enormous and they can affect entire ocean bases. The 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami was among the deadliest natural disasters in human history, with at least 2,30,000 people killed or missing in 14 countries bordering the Indian Ocean. So, these were some mysteries of the universe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much.